What's good, YouTube? This video is going to be about if a guy blocks you on social media, but still texts or calls you or contacts you. So anyway, that was the question. Somebody said, what if a guy blocks you on social media, but still texts? So I believe this is a red flag. I think if a man blocks you on social media, what he's telling you is his social media shenanigans are none of your business. Right. He's telling you to mind your business or he's trying to hide what he does on social media from you. Right. So he's doing things that you wouldn't like to see that might disturb your security or make you jealous or make you stop talking to him. So instead of letting you see that he blocks you on social media and keeps talking to you in private. Right. So there's no linkage between you and him on social media. It could be because he's trying to make sure there's no paper trail leading you back to him because someone else more important might be watching. He could have a relationship or a wife that might be watching the social media. You can't have somebody you're talking to or actually trying to sleep with or actually sleeping with or dating on the side of your relationship, contacting you and being all over your comments and all over your pictures. That doesn't look good for your wife or your girlfriend if you really have one. So one reason that guys, black women, a lot of times is that they have relationships and their wives or their girlfriends have access to their social media. So they have to keep the side chicks off of their social media once they meet them and pull them off of the app. And again, another reason is he wants you to mind your business. He's telling you that, hey, your access to me is limited to the access that I give you. You're not entitled to access to me. He's also understanding that in doing this, it lowers your expectation of him because you'll assume bad, but you won't see it. So because you don't see it, you learn to eventually and gradually get used to the idea of him whoring around on social media. So it gradually lowers the standard for him. It creates boundaries around your access to him and your ability to influence him or make complaints or bring up concerns. Women who are blocked on social media and stick around often do so because they really like that guy. So it's an indicator of his leverage when you allow this to happen as well. A man can block you on social media, but you don't go anywhere and he can just text you when he wants to. He knows that you like him too much to keep whatever standard of self-respect that you thought you had for yourself. So now he can do you any kind of way because you're allowing him to do you any kind of way. It starts with that. It starts with a small yes or a small concession or a small boundary crossed. So yeah, if you're texting a guy, you think you're dating, might be going out with him a little bit, you might be texting him, but he blocks you on social media, especially after he's had sex with you. It's because he's decided that you've been compartmentalized. That's the spot you belong in. That's the space you take up in his life. He's quarantining you away from the rest of his social media because he's still searching for something else or he already has something else and he's not supposed to have you. There's almost no good reason to block a woman on social media that doesn't involve creating space for other women. A lot of times a man will play power games with a woman. He'll block her on social media because that feels like rejection. Well, usually when men reject women and a woman likes a guy, she'll try to create more opportunities for herself to be validated because this validation was taken away from her. A lot of times that means she becomes more malleable. She's easier to deal with. She's more desperate for his attention, for his favor, for his approval. So she does more for him and gets less while she's doing it. And she's OK with that because she feels like he's one foot in, one foot out. If he's already blocked her on social media, she doesn't want to piss him off again. So she goes out of her way to make sure she keeps him happy. This is another way to control someone. It's strategic validation and strategic invalidation, strategic rejection. If a man blocks you on social media after you think that you've established some closeness, it's a very good indicator that he's about to bait and switch you. He sold you some dreams, but now he's about to do something else. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Sometimes men are double minded and sometimes they're playing double minded. Sometimes men pretend to be confused. Sometimes men feign confusion and feign indecisiveness when really they've decided exactly what you are. You are a bed warmer. And because you don't want to feel like you've wasted your time, you stick around while these guys start to move around in all kinds of sorts of disrespectful ways. If a man blocks you from anything, it's a good signal that you should probably pack your bags and go. Because grown ass men aren't blocking people for the hell of it. The only guys blocking women are the ones playing power games or the ones manipulating them. No real man is blocking you. He's going to discuss an issue if there's an issue to be discussed. He's going to tell you he no longer wants to talk to you if that's the case. He's not going to block you and make you guess what's wrong with him unless he likes to confuse you, unless he's doing it on purpose to play leverage and power games with you, unless he's trying to make you make yourself more malleable so that you don't get blocked again, unless he's trying to punish you to make you afraid to upset him again. Or unless he's trying to hide you away from his real woman. 
Those are the only reasons my, why men why, might block you and then stay in contact with you through other means. If a man blocks you, you're certainly not dating him. You certainly don't have a future with him. You certainly don't have anything to look forward to besides sex and some disappointment. You can make all the excuses you want in your mind as to why he might block you. Like the only reason a man might lean toward ambiguity is to make better and easier use of you. Nine times out of 10, those are the reasons. So if you're blocked on social media, if a guy's been playing those games with you, please move on. Just stop talking to him. Move on. Get with a man who communicates his issues if an issue arises. Get with a man who wants to hash things out and isn't just going to ignore you until you feel like you're about to explode and you have to chase him and kiss his ass to get him to unblock you. Discontinue contact with a man who's playing those types of games. It never ends well for the woman. I have a lot of phone clients who are going through stuff like this and it's really prevalent. So get out before you lose control of your emotions. It's not worth the trouble. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Follow me at KFA24 on Instagram. Share my videos if you think they're helpful. Go to girltalkwithguys.com if you want to book a call and get some coaching. I coach couples and single women who are looking for love. So whether you're trying to stay together or find love or maintain your situationship or your dating love interest before things get too bad, I help everybody. So go to girltalkwithguys.com and book a call. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll get with y'all later.